emotional than when my dear friends were attacked by Cleveland Browns NFL quarterback Brady Quinn in the streets of Columbus. I am. I wasn't born a homosexual, but in Pacifica, California, when my dear friends are being chased down, feet from their house, and beaten, I am. And also at least Anaseski's seventh grade sleepover. There was like a <laughs> kind of nature versus nurture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you guys remember the separation of church and state? <laughs> so cool, wasn't it? We are here today to protect marriage from fear, from hate, from people that have, from people that have the Constitution in one hand and a Sharpie in the other. But I say no taxation without representation and that's why we're here. We believe in human dignity, And love. Love, it's really simple. We really don't need a bunch of handouts and, you know, paper and all these conferences. It's Some of you are old enough to remember there was a bunch of white men way back in the day who said that women should have the right to choose abortion. Now, did they do that on their own? Or was there a massive women's movement in the street forcing them to do so? That's why we're here today. But we're not just here for California and Californians and those couples who went to California to get married. We're here to win equal marriage rights right here in Illinois. And I personally am sick and tired of the excuses from our Illinois politicians. What state is more blue than and yet you can't get your act together? You hold every single statewide office, all bodies of government, and we can't get even a lousy, separate but equal civil unions bill passed. That's pathetic! Very, very important especially to some of us in this crowd who happen to be African American and LGBT. We will not allow the two communities to be pitted against each other. We will not... We will not fall prey and be chumps to any divide and conquer strategies by our opponents. We will only rise together for equality, not one community against the other. We divide our own LGBT community unless we stand up for every single one in it. That if you think that, 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 that gay people need to go to hell, and that if you can put us in hell, then you put us in that hell. But while we're on this earth, nobody, nobody, nobody has the right Not one more second longer. Thank you. Did you watch Keith Olbermann on MSNBC? Let me tell you, if that didn't change your mind, I don't know what will. Any of you heard of the U.S. Constitution? What are the three inalienable rights that are being violated because we can't get marriage equality? Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. That's right. And so what is going on here? Gay rights are civil rights! Exactly. Gay rights are civil rights. When our, bro 
when our forefathers came here over 200 years ago, they put that flag up to symbolize freedom for all. The 14th Amendment promises equal protection of fundamental rights for anyone born or naturalized in this country. And are we getting that right now? of this country and what we have to do is build a movement to demand that we have equal rights for everyone in this country that we don't have one set of rights for some people and a second set of rights for other people and part of that and for, for us that means demanding full marriage equality rights that means that we don't want to be treated as second class with civil unions. When we ask for civil unions, they say be happy with civil rights. When we ask for civil rights, they say be happy there are no sodomy laws. And in the past, when we asked to repeal the sodomy laws, they said be happy they are rarely enforced. When we asked for police to stop spending time enforcing victimless crimes, they said be happy the sentences are light. When we asked for lighter sentences, 
They said, be happy, there isn't the death penalty. But let me tell you, that is exactly what they want. In the mid-1960s, a Florida Supreme Court justice wrote in a majority opinion declaring the Florida sodomy laws unconstitutional on a technicality that it grieved him greatly to do so and that the legislature should rewrite the bill as quickly as possible and that he encouraged them to add the death penalty for sodomy saying that no crime was more befitting of society's ultimate repudiation. Perhaps you think times have changed. After all, in the mid-1960s, it was illegal to serve alcohol to a homosexual. And in parts of Florida, it was illegal for three or more homosexuals to congregate. Not at all. The instructions to our enemies remain as clear now as then. It is written in their 2,000-year-old book of laws, which they will kill for and die to defend. Leviticus 20:13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. Those people there believe that we shall surely be put to death. This is the sole objective of those who fight against us on civil rights or marriage. Everything else said for public consumption is a pack of lies. Some among us pretend Leviticus 2013 does not exist, that somehow our persecutors are simply ignorant. No, Dr. James Dobson is no more ignorant than Dr. Joseph Mengele. To effectively fight them, we must understand they want us dead. When people join with others, in a demand for justice in an unjust society, things happen. You don't have to rely, you don't have to rely on politicians who have slogans about change. We can get in the streets and make that change. Yeah. This is the history of struggle in the United States. This is what advanced the struggle for women, for African Americans, for workers, for many others, for gays and lesbians. People in the streets demanding change, and then the politicians sometimes respond. Our leadership in the struggle in California didn't make demands on the politicians out there, at least not on Obama. Now he did go on MTV and he did urge people to oppose Proposition 8 and that, that was good as far as it went. But can you imagine the impact it would have had if Obama had gone on broadcast television and had asked particularly people of color, Latinos and African Americans, people who have known bigotry and discrimination to not write discrimination into the Constitution of California. I see a sign over here that, I, that is really important. It says Stonewall means fight back. And there, there's the date there. There it is right there, June 28th, 1969. This could be, I think it is, I don't know for sure, but this could be a Stonewall moment. We we need to walk, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what, what happened in California. Is we went to a rally in West Hollywood and we kind of cried and held each other's hands, and then we got fucking angry. <laughs> Sunset Strip and closed the streets down. Tolerance was a really good idea at first. <laughs> we deserve more than that. Now it's not enough. <laughs> I am really tired of being tolerated. Thank you very much. I am really tired of tolerating that ignorance. I am really tired of the smugness that comes with people who tolerate.
celebrate us and think that that's fabulous. <laughs> in our personal lives, we are all responsible for this. Someone mentioned nothing comes without a struggle. Nike said no pain, no gain. <laughs> it's the same with our collective soul and our hearts. It's the same with our families and our friends and our co-workers and all of those people that we're polite for. And you know who I'm talking about. There are those specific friends that we don't bring our girlfriend over there because it makes them uncomfortable. They love us just the way we are, as long as we keep our gay life separate from what they have to know. We all have those friends and people in our lives. I gotta say, I'm a little too mouthy to have tolerated that for too long, but not, not an ounce anymore. Not one single... I stand also as a part of a movement that wants to take back God. And Jesus. And not to uh, wed church and state, but to open the church's doors to all children of God. And to say that God loves all of us and that marriage is not the sole right of the church, but marriage is a right for all people. We will not stop showing up like we have today until something is done to end the discrimination of a people who follow their heart, regardless of those who think we are a disgrace. those who are against us here and everywhere else, we will not stop. It's time to accept the differences in our nation's people and realize that different does not mean disgraceful. All right. They selectively quote the Bible. They qu quote Leviticus saying that it's an abomination for a man to lie down with a man. Sorry lesbians, they didn't say anything about you. Um, <laughs> Well, you know what they didn't quote? They didn't quote the rest of Leviticus. And, let me, you know, if a person should cut their hair, plant two seeds, the same seeds in a field, um, wear different kinds of things, you should be stoned to death for all of that. Now, I've been stoned to death, but they, they, they talk about other kind of stoned to death. But the bottom line is... And I did, and I did inhale. But they forget a different section of Leviticus. And I don't know, did any of you hear Keith Olbermann the other night? He was amazing. I mean, he was in tears and I was in tears. Well, Olbermann basically quoted another section of Leviticus that these idiots across the street are selectively quoting. But Olbermann quoted another section, love thy neighbor as thyself. But basically, let's do this. Again, use the principles of Gandhi, of Martin Luther King, the power of the boycott, the power of the dollar. Stay peaceful, but stay mad, and do not, do not make anything negotiable. Thank you. We're a family like anybody else. For those of you across the street, we're monogamous, we're loving, we're loyal, we love our son. We love you, even if you don't love us. We deserve the same rights. We're here so that we can show our son what America looks like. We are so scary. Like, you know, we're not doing anything at night that's all that different. We're watching Top Chef. Yeah. a lot of money in taxes to the state of California and to this country and you know honestly as as I think Melissa Edwards said earlier this week really you don't give me money fine you want to take away my rights you do not need my money so all of you just keep doing what you're doing as somebody said stay peaceful but stay mad 
and let's just get this off the books. This is stupid. We've been doing this too long. Really? We have to work, each and every one of us, to protect the civil rights of all Americans, regardless of race, religion, color, ethnicity, national origin, or sexual orientation, because we are all Americans and we are all in this together.